Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So the Republicans are going to have their whole, they're going to have their convention coming up, right? Democrats' convention's going on right now. I'm not looking at any of that. Republicans are going to have their convention. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to look at any of that either by the way. <laughs> so, but here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing that I want to talk about to bring this back to gun stuff. And I'm just going to share this up here. Um, this is up from BBC News. U.S. couple who pointed guns at BLM protesters to speak at Republican convention. That's cute. I thought they were Democrats. Um, I, I have no idea what these people are. They probably are closer to Democrats. Uh, it says a husband and wife who pointed guns at uh, racial justice protesters in the U.S. This is the BBC News, so we know where they're coming from, right? Um, re will reportedly appear at the Republican Party convention this month. Mark and Patricia McCloskey, who are both lawyers with film brandishing weapons at demonstrators, marched along as demonstrators marched along their private Missouri street in June. And it goes on, tell all that stuff. I don't think the woman's going to be, I don't think that Patricia McCloskey is going to be there, but her husband's definitely going to be there. Um, you know, I, this is my opinion of this real quick. I'm going to tell you guys. My opinion is, what the hell is a Republican? This is, this is why, to me, Republicans seem fake all the time. And I'm actually registered in Florida as a Republican. I vote for Republicans. But they are fake. <laughs> you don't actually know. If you see these guys as some kind of 2A heroes, then we are doomed. That's my opinion. I don't know. You, you guys tell me. I what agree. You think. I agree. I think they're, if you were trying to make a statement as the Republican Party... Uh, about the 2A or you're, or you're standing behind the 2A, that is not, you know, you have a plethora of wonderful people that you could have had um, there. I know many of them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not who I would have picked. I don't, yeah. That doesn't represent, happening? you know, America uh, yeah. that is pro-gun. That's a couple fools that didn't even know how to hold their guns right. That just happened to... Now, I, I, I have mixed feelings about them. I'm not going to get into, you know, like the whole huge debate that happened when everything started happening about, um, you know, the everybody was arguing about whether they were harmful to the community or they were, you know, a good thing for the community. Mm -hmm. Regardless, that's just that's not the point. The point is they why don't Why are these guys heroes? Why are they, yeah, why are they showing up there and speaking? <laughs> Who are they talking to? They're lawyers, like you, like you said, probably Democrats. They're lawyers who are suing gun companies. They had guns that were not either one was not real or not functioning. The other one was not loaded. They, they, there's so much bad stuff. Go ahead, Rhonda. I know you, you look like you want to, you've got an opinion on this. I'm literally like disgusted and annoyed. I'm still at the point where I'm hoping that this is fake news. Um, I'm hoping somebody just made this up to you know, drum up some type of viral energy or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But this is literally exactly what we talked about the last time I was on your show. And I talked about, you know, that's the media I have to combat. As somebody mm -hmm. that is trying to get people armed, more women that look like me, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get them armed. And the media says, that's not a gun owner don't look like Rhonda Mary. A gun owner looks like the McCoskeys. And mm -hmm. even much so, don't you see how the 2A community is, is uplifting them, hailing them as some type of heroes? Don't you see that that's what Trump stands for? They're going to be speaking at the Republican convention and this and the other. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It makes no sense to me. It's bad marketing. Um, and then for Trump to constantly cry about like how the news media is doing him, I don't, I don't think this was maybe like a direct decision he made, right? Uh, but for just Republicans in general to cry about the fake news and the media spin and this and the other, y'all constantly throw them bait. That is just red freaking meat for people to eat up and be like, because that's. It's a very uh, divisive story, and I talked about this, right? 
if they would have came out on their lawn the same exact way and kept those freaking inoperable firearms holstered, we wouldn't even be having this discussion right now. It wouldn't even be a problem. Well, and then also they wouldn't be heroes. Dante Layton says that uh, this is the essence of 2A, not Clint Eastwood. And uh, he says they represent regular Americans. Uh, and I'm not so sure if he's being or sarcastic or not, right? I'm just getting... Huh? Are we saying regular Americans don't know how to use firearms? Or is, is that what we're... Mm -hmm. like, is that what we want? Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I don't this I the, the thing I'm gonna say is yes I feel like those people had the right to defend themselves on their property uh, Were they all, all of them themselves? Yes, what I'm gonna say is like to me that whole situation was a perfect storm of things that luckily everyone came out of it Okay, but I'm, I'm split down the middle in all of that So I'm not saying to you that they didn't have a right and blah blah blah, but whoever wants to whoever in the gun community Whatever people in the industry, those guys got offered 50 guns from the gun industry. 50. Okay? They don't know how to use. Yeah. That they don't know trigger discipline. They, that they don't know. They, 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 they offered sued. Offered them training. They, offered them training. They, they sued. Actually, they, they were did. suing the gun industry. Did. The reason why they had an inoperable gun is because they were lawyers suing a, a, a firearms manufacturer. So you've got to understand the level of ignorance of people on the gun industry to not dig into that story and go, these guys are not really on our side. Okay, I might agree with their right to defend their, their property or whatever, but you need, to, you need to see these nuances of things and realize right. that people are looking at that. So the Republican Party who maybe wants uh, folks like myself, who I'm a Republican, I've voted for Republicans even when I was registered here as a Democrat, and I'm looking at the Republicans right here it, where I am, and I see that they're not standing up for the Second Amendment or the Constitution. Then you do some craziness like this and bring in these people who are not even really on your side. They just got scared and then did dumb stuff that in reality, they're not gun people. So when I look at all of this and I look around me and I see gun people, and I think um, I think you, you guys are both saying this, I see gun people that you can invite to the to, to uh, the RNC convention here that will be great representatives of myself and the gun community and the Second Amendment and on and on and on, but you're choosing the these picture, dudes. Do you remember the pictures in, I think this was in Minneapolis where you had like the black guy and the white guy holstered, standing in front of the stores, like protecting the, protecting the stores. Mm -hmm. Why not like, Republicans are always talking about division, talking about, oh, the big bad media is hurting our feelings. You turn around and do the same thing. I cannot take you seriously. I cannot. It was an older black man sitting out in his chair with his firearm protecting his store. Mm -hmm. He wasn't pointing it at people. Why, why don't we upheld him? Why mm -hmm. don't we say, and, and it's not, I'm not, you know, because I, I talked about the black and the white um, guys that were out there. They were like arm and arm or linked mm -hmm. up in front of the store. Um, so I'm not necessarily saying it has to be a black person. Yeah, I don't care. That's not, that's, yeah, that does, that's not what, I don't, I know plenty of white guys. Why don't you have, why don't you have Iraq veteran? Why don't you have Chad, Eric? Why don't you have those guys come up there? Why don't you have, uh, you know, we can go, we can go through so many people, military arms channel, Mr. Guns and Gear. I could just keep going. Like if you need a white dude. Right. Say, you can have someone like Maj up there who, who has sure. connection. He was at CPAC. I mean, I think that would be someone like Maj representative of, you know, to, first of all, to destigmatize the gun community from being old white men, mm -hmm. you know, um, show that the community has diversity and also just much more representative of the gun community as well. Mm -hmm. Someone who's actually out there fighting for these rights every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like, I like that she used the word destigmatize because I feel like that couple furthers the stigma. That's exactly what they do for anybody to even try to pretend to deny that you're being oblivious. They're not a prime example. I think there's people that are latching on to them. So in, in this case of this couple, the media used these guys because they looked like Ken and Karen, right? So the media liked that message. Here's two white people that just want to point guns at black people, right? 
So the media use that. And then on this side, on our side, there are a lot of folks who are like, oh, they're awesome. He looks like Trump out there in his, you know, dungarees or whatever and his, uh, you know, what, whatever the hell you call those polo shirts. So, polo. yeah, there's people who are connected to that and they think that's who their voters are, that they think that's who they're reaching out to. This is the same exact problem that the NRA had. And you see how that one's going. This is the same exact thing, right? You don't know, you don't know how to tell these subtle differences. These guys are not heroes. But at some point, at some point, it's it's intentional. It's intentional. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me that the NRA is not smart enough to diversify and be more uh, adamant about how their messaging is projected at this point. The NRA has like millions of dollars behind that organization. Mm -hmm. At some point, like, let's be honest, let's be real. For people who are upholding this couple, like, like for example, me, right? I don't necessarily think they should go to jail, they should lose their livelihood, stuff like that. And I can be fair in saying that and say, yes, you deserve the right to protect your property, your livelihood. But also, no, I don't think this is some type of superhero couple mm -hmm. that we should put as the face of the 2A community. Right. Absolutely. Or, or defending your property or whatever it is, right? The, the, it's not this, you know, it's just, but guess what, though? The truth of the matter is, this is how Republicans see things. And they don't see it that much differently from Democrats. And this is the reason why they're giving up. They're, they're basically burning down the Second Amendment. Uh, Houdini Unchained uh, gave us five bucks here. He says, you can't blame the media here. This is what I hate about most gun tubers. They know exactly what this is. It's racial. The mental gymnastics is crazy. <laughs> That's from Houdini. I, I like, there you go. It, to some extent, like I definitely, you know, I feel like, I feel like people are kind of, you know, drawing that line in the sand because if you really, if you honestly, if it wasn't racial, right, and you honestly cared about the Second Amendment, you would want it to be projected in the most favorable light, especially because of the history of how it's been in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, you would want to move forward um, promoting those good things. Yeah, Harry's Holster says the reality is the RNC is trying to appeal to open-minded swing voters, the majority of which know nothing about guns. The St. Louis couple works to hit that demographic. I mean, I feel like the uh, Republican Party, the RNC, should be well-funded enough that it should have analysts knowing what voters there should be targeting. And I think, um, you know, it, I don't want to make this about race, but I think one of the things that are up for grabs is the minority voters. OK, so I feel like it isn't about race, but it isn't. We, I don't know. I don't think we, we're, we're looking for Ken and Karen from middle America. I don't know if they're the real ones that are being contested here. I think there's lots of examples. It's easy to find examples um, of people if, if I. I don't know if race is a thing. It could be a thing. Maybe it's not a thing. But there's lots of examples of people who use the Second Amendment to defend themselves that there's not all these, there's not necessarily all these complications that go along with it. And the reality is, is who you're talking to. I think the people who they're talking to specifically are the people who you're going to see even out there like, oh, no, this is awesome. I want to see those guys. They're heroes. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem with what's going on here, right? That's the problem with what's going on here. If you see those guys, if you see those guys as heroes, you think they're heroes and they're representing you. That's why you keep losing your Second Amendment. Exactly. Exactly. People have the right to support, you know, whoever they like. Mm -hmm. But don't moan and complain. Don't freaking be word when the media portrays you a certain way because you're giving them the reins to do so. So, mm -hmm. like, my thing is pick a struggle. Like, it can't be both. Either that is who you are, those people are the representation of who you are, or they're not. Like, it can't be both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
I just think that we have to, you know, it's, it's a lot of things here. I don't see these people as just some people. I get it. I understand 100%. Someone, if you're looking at it just as, oh, someone came on their property, you know, um, and I see lots of comments out there. Um, someone came on your property. You came out there and defended yourself. It doesn't matter if the gun wasn't real. It doesn't matter if you're pointing it at people. It's your private property. None of that matters. These guys are awesome. <laughs> Okay. No, okay. No. Just go ahead. Go ahead and rock and roll with that, and then wonder why later on the same people who organized this and threw those guys up there and got you to go. Yeah, they're doing it because you're looking at it and you're cheering for those people. You're like, these people are awesome. That's what we all need to be, and all they're doing is getting that out of you. And then they're gonna when, once you vote for them and put them in there, they're not gonna do anything for you. And then at some point, you're gonna want to come back to people like us. I'm not saying like us because of what skin color we are. You're going to want to come back to us and tell us, you got to fight for this. No, <laughs> you are supporting that nonsense. And at the end of the day, they look at that and they go, yeah, this is all we have to do. These people are idiots. We could feed them anything. They're just going to eat it up and say, please, can I have some more? And you're the stupid ones doing that. And when there's actually people out here fighting for the Second Amendment, and, and, and trying to act, to make this real and convince these people to stand up, there's going to be nonsense going on. That's exactly what's happening with the NRA. Everyone just gives their money to the NRA, doesn't pay any attention to what they're doing. And then when things go bad, they're like, oh, man, these guys are persecuting the NRA. And then you give them more money that they're just like, look at these idiots. They just keep giving us money. We got to keep balling out here. You know? You're not seeing this, you're not seeing this properly, and you're wondering, why is everything still sinking around me? Right. So, um, let's see here. Uh, Lola says that the fact that the industry donated 50 guns to the couple is shameful, and it speaks even more to the fact that it's all about sales, especially now that uh, sales are rampant. I think that's, you know... Yeah, these guys are rich and wealthy uh, individuals. They didn't need the donation of 50 guns. That would have been much better best, serving other, I other people. The, I think the best thing, the loudest thing should have been, let's get you guys training. Let's make sure that you know like what to do in this situation and what not to do so you won't even be in the like the legal side of this or having the legal yeah. ramifications of this. That would have been the right thing. Call, and that would have made people look like, okay, so we do want people to to protect themselves. We want people to protect them prop their property, but we want to, them to do it in the most safe and responsible way. I think, in my personal opinion, the thing to to do here is use this as an example. There's no one in this case in this situation that went down that I want to represent me. I'll just be honest. We just if you if you're just tuning in in the beginning of this. I don't necessarily, I don't agree with uh, Black Lives Matter. I don't agree with why those people were protesting on private property. None of that. I don't agree with these guys either. These are not gun people. They're not gun people. If they were gun people, they wouldn't have gone out with an empty AR. They wouldn't have gone out there with a non-functioning gun that they had because they're suing the industry. And then let's admit, right, because, I mean, you kept using this word defend, and I'm trying to just see how that plays here, because what are you defending if you if your firearm does not work? It's inoperable. You are intimidating, intimidating, mm -hmm. defending. Yes, that, like, is, that is a point. I mean, that is a point. But, uh, I mean, there's there's the reason why I'm not, you're, you're right on that, but the reason why I'm not focusing on that, I'm trying to get people to understand what they're missing here what they're missing. This mayor that everyone was going to protest, was this a was this a Republican mayor or a Democratic mayor? It was a, it was a liberal. It was a Democrat mayor that they were going to protest. This is what you have to understand. This neighborhood, this community, do you think the people there were were liberals or conservatives? They're liberals. What happened to these guys is they got scared cuz a bunch of people are coming down their street. A bunch of people <laughs> You know, that they're like, oh, what are these people? What's going on here? Right. But who How are these people? Are you? How scared are you if you go in your front yard with an inoperable gun? Like, I have to keep saying that, Hank. That I have true. to because some people just want to be naive and I'm not going to sit here and lie. It doesn't make sense. How like 
If you're deathly scared, oh my God, the yeah. Black Lives Matters are coming to get us. You Listen, the same people, the same people who are arguing what you're saying, I'm not arguing it, right? But the same people that are arguing what you're saying, they'll look at someone that says clip instead of magazine and go, oh, what are you talking about? It's not a clip, it's a magazine. They, they're going to have that same conversation. But if you try to tell them these people went out there with guns that were not real or loaded or functioning, like, so what? Freedom. Nothing happened to them. So they weren't, I, I just. So is that what you want? It, because what, you're going to eventually wind up with Democrats just going to you. Listen, you don't even need real guns. You don't need real guns. We'll give you some pieces of wood and you can hold on to those pieces of wood that look like guns. And, and then everything will be fine. Every time you feel threatened, you know? Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.